Hey guys, it's TTVG and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure you subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. And make sure you keep up with my videos. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how I installed this lovely hair from Selly Hair. And this hair is literally amazing, super soft. And also, I added these layers. I'm absolutely in love with these layers lately. They've actually been a trend. And I thought I have to try this. Like, I really have to try this and i'm not even gonna say too much because this was not easy this wig is super flat as you can see it's a 13 by 4 cloak i mean frontal and yeah i'm really loving it i love the hairstyle it's so elegant and everything but if you want to see how i installed this and how i achieved this lovely hair look keep on watching Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's TCBJ, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I installed this lovely hair from Sally Hair. And it's the 13x4 frontal and it's 22 inches. I'll put all the information in the description box. So first I started with the bold cap method and I'm, whilst I'm letting it dry, I like to go in with my hot comb and just press down the frontal. So when I put it on, it will be flat. So now I'm just putting it on and making sure that no lace is left. And so the hairline of the lace matches my actual hairline. So yeah, after that, after I lay it down, I'm just going to go in with my comb and just comb it down. So then it prevents me from having like sticky in the hair, like flow floating around. So yeah, I love to use my comb. When I finish doing that, I go in with my um, sharp this scissors is so sharp oh my god i literally nearly cut my ears one time but i'm gonna go in with that small scissors and just cut the sides of my ears so it fits perfectly and so when i put this headband elastic band on it so it just presses down the lace properly and then after i go in with my straighteners and just straighten my hair just straighteners oh, i need another straightener so if you guys recommend anything please let me know because I need another straightener. As you can see, the hair is thick as well. Like I think it's 180 density, but it's really thick, like really thick. And yeah, so now I'm gonna take off the headband. And as you can see, it really pressed in the lace, and it just looks so nice against my skin. So medium brown lace is actually a really good color, especially when the lace of the the hair is already really good so yeah it's even for me it's medium brown lace or it's hd lace so yeah or swiss lace swiss lace is amazing oh my god but that will be another video so um yeah so i'm gonna cut the lace now and as you can see it's like a bit sticky on the side but you just have to press it with your finger and it's fine it will just blend in with your skin and as you can see it just looks so amazing i did not even press down the other bit only that side bit and it already looks amazing so now i'm just gonna comb everything out make sure make sure everything is just combed out and you know so then when i start to style my hair it won't be like strong so yeah now i'm gonna take this lovely satin um headband from Sally hair and this just keeps the hair in place which i really love so now i'm going to take my comb and just i'm going to do middle part it's a 13 by 4 closure um, i mean frontal so therefore you can only do middle part you can't do side part with 13 by 4 you can but it's hard and it doesn't look as nice as a 13 by 6 when you do a side part so yeah i'm plucked it and then i added some concealer in the middle and now i'm gonna use this oh my god this hot comb is hot as you can see come and see my reactions this hot comb is so hot like it goes up to like 260 or 280 and oh my god i'm not i'm used to the normal one like the normal one and um, this one just changed my life but shout out to them because this hot comb is literally amazing i love 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 it so yeah um you actually need a hot comb like this like you need it you need it in your life especially if you want your your wigs to be flat mm. 
the girl so what i like to do is i like to part my hair like this and just add the wax stick and just literally press it down with the hot comb that's what i like to do but you have to be careful because for some reason my um sometimes it can get really oily so like today i've done a bit i feel like i've done a bit too much even this side or the other side and then it just ended up being so much so oily like the front bit of my hair so you have to be really careful how much you put don't put too much i don't know why i was putting too much you see anyways um yeah but if that happens if you do it and it happens just wash it or sleep the next sometimes the next day will go but just wash it and then you will see it will be fine after because it just means that there's a lot of oil and you just need to wash that away but anyway so after i'm satisfied with how flat my hair has gotten i'm gonna take a silly headband again and just wait and just set my hair again because you know i want my hair to be flat okay okay thank you so now i'm gonna do my edges it's the last bit before i do my makeup and everything i'm gonna take some i didn't take too much because yeah i didn't just didn't take too much because i don't really do edges that much but it actually came out good today but you guys will see um yeah so i'm using mousse to do my edges i always use mousse and then i just let it set with the celly the celly hair headband so the silk one so any silk headband that you have will work so i even did my um this bit of my edges and i never normally never do it so yeah and it came out really good but now i have finished doing my makeup and my edges have set and literally come and see as i said it's just so important to set 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 these edges to press it down as much as you can because it actually makes a difference so now i like to go over in with my um brush again and just brush through the edges so it just looks a bit more looser so it doesn't look like stuck into my skin like no and then i'm gonna go in again with the hot comb and just press through press 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 through my hair make it look really really flat so now i have finished installing my hair i'm now gonna go and just try and see where i want to cut this you know these layers and i started off with this side so i'm just gonna cut 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 and guys it was actually so hard to do because i don't know one side could be right and then the other side could be could go wrong that's what i was scared of and i just i was just basically cutting it with the razor blade the eyebrow blade and um just brushing it through i even tried to use scissors as you can see and yeah i just basically kept going doing the same thing i did the same thing on the other side and then i just straightened it at the same time as well just to see how it looks like when it's proper bone straight well not bone it's not even bone straight but you know when it's straight and i ended up liking the other side more than this side but i think also that was because of the um wax that i said i used so i said i used that wax thing which caused my this side to be a, like really oily all of a sudden i don't know how but yeah the next day following day i did like work it out and it's fine now it was fine after also another tip that i can give out is that you should actually cut from different sides or from the front from the side you know look at it from different angles that's how you're gonna you know see the difference and stuff and yeah so when i actually thought that this is how i want it to be i've you know i'm a bit satisfied um so yeah then i just started to hot comb i mean straighten my hair until i finished basically i also did end up um cutting this side more than the other side but i was so tired I said let me just leave it before i ruin it even more but yeah this is the finishing look i hope you guys love it and yeah thank you guys so much for watching so this is the finishing look and i'm absolutely loving it so much as you can see i'm actually thought i would like this bit this side more but i definitely like this side more i think it's because it's longer than this side i feel like i cut too much on this side but ugh. What can I do? I can't do anything. 
but i don't know i feel like i put a lot of product on this side as well like look what is this let's not talk about it the hair is still lovely though like the hair is still lovely um the layers are still there it's just a bit i probably have to sleep with it let it dry let the oil put some water on it wash it or something because the oil is just too much on there and i do not like it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions make sure you comment down below because it's right now it's like 3 a.m and i'm so tired i've taken pictures and everything but i'm so tired but i feel like i want to take more pictures on this camera maybe i'm not sure but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye